Hey guys, so today's video is a little different from what I normally do. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this dolphin skin look. It's um, a trend that I've seen a little bit on Instagram. It was created by a makeup artist that works for Iconic London. So if you go on the hashtag, a lot of the products you see are Iconic London products. But obviously you don't need those in order to recreate this look. The dolphin skin trend from what I've seen and heard is that the point of it is you want to look wet. This is going to sound <laughs> kind of ridiculous, but it's supposed to be like when like a dolphin like comes up out of the water <laughs> and like the water is like dripping from their skin. That's kind of the effect that you're going for with this makeup. And I just thought it looked really pretty in Instagram photos. Um, another makeup artist that um, seems to be this trend is Danessa, Danessa Myricks, I believe it's pronounced. And her work is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to put up some inspo pics on the screen right here from both Iconic London and Danessa Myricks. And uh, there's also an article on Glamour that I read with Danessa Myricks and it talks about kind of how you can achieve this look. Um, I will say I have very oily skin. This look is definitely not geared towards me. It's not practical for me at all. But I just thought it would be fun to do and to take some fun pics in. I think it's definitely more Instagram glam than like real life glam personally but just do whatever you want if you like this look and you have oily skin just do it yeah i know my brows are looking a little old this look today but that's all right if you want to see how to get this wet dewy looking skin you can just keep on watching so the first product i'm going to go in with is this um beauty oil this one is from hydropeptide it is the moisture reset photo nutrient facial oil and I just borrowed this from my mom because I don't really use um, beauty oils like this. Take this and drop it onto my face. Um, for this look, the seams of the prep is pretty important. Um, they recommend that you exfoliate and then do a hydrating mask. Uh, I exfoliate the chemical exfoliator every night. And I just don't have a hydrating mask. But if you do, then you might want to do that. And again, this is just like a random beauty oil that I took from my mom. But you can just use anything that you have. And if you don't have one, you probably you can go into like a moisturizer or something. So for foundation, you can use any one that you like. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. You can use um, like a dewy foundation or really just anything that fits your preference. I do recommend going in with something that's kind of medium full coverage unless you have like perfect skin, just because I feel like that's kind of what I see. All these models and stuff having like flawless bases. So that's what I'm going in with this one. I always use a sponge to apply foundations. It's just my preferred method. But I feel like especially with this look, you wanna use a sponge because it'll bring some kind of moisture and glow your skin. And the beauty oil definitely shoot out the cover of this foundation, so I'm just going to take a little bit more on my sponge. I'm going to build those areas up where I have some imperfections. Then for concealer, I'm going to take this one from Sephora Collection. This is the Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. I'm going to use the shade 3. And I like to use this concealer because it's more natural looking. And it's not super matte, so I think it's good for this look. Put some on the chin and put some on the forehead as well. I 
I'm just gonna blend that out with my sponge. And I'm really gonna like kind of drag this down and even bring it up onto the eyelid. And before I do the rest of the face, I'm just going to hop off camera really quick and do my brows. Now those are on, I'm going to go in with cream blush. And I'm going to use this one from Tower 28. It's in the shade Magic Hour. And again, this is more of like a dewy blush because the whole point of this is to look like you're dripping wet. I'm just going to dip my sponge into it. And put this on the apples and on like the backs of my cheeks. I really just want to bring it all over the cheek area, not kind of be, not being too precise with it. I'm gonna bring it onto the temples a little bit. And I love this blush because it just blends out so easily. It's like it's really hard to overdo it. So next we're going to move on to highlighter and you can literally use any highlighter you have. You can use powder, cream, or liquid. Um, the article that I've mentioned before, they talk about using a cream or powder. But I know that Iconic London, they use their liquid illuminator. So I'm just going to use um, this liquid one from Ilia. This is the Liquid Light Serum Highlighter. It's in the shade Nova. This is really pretty. So I'm just going to take some of it. I'm going to pump it out onto the back of my hand, like just one pump, and I'm going to kind of warm it, like, like this with my finger, and I'm going to take this on my finger, I'm going to put it right on the tops of my cheekbones, and the first I'm just going to kind of stamp it, and I'm going to take a clean finger, and just blend it out. And you can see this highlighter just really melts into the skin and into the blush really nicely. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to with my nose. even like a little bit on like the bridge of my nose kind of right on the section that's underneath like the brows and you can also put this anywhere else that you want to be highlighted you can put it on your chin you can put it like on the top of your brows wherever you want highlight but that's why i'm just gonna leave it today i'm gonna put a little bit on my cupid's bow actually that's where i'm gonna leave it today we're not done with highlighting um, again, we really want that wet look, so they recommend going in with like a balm over top of the highlighter. I don't have a balm, so I'm going to show you how I do it with Vaseline. So I just pick up some of the Vaseline on my finger. This is literally like a dollar at any grocery store. And I'm just going to tap it over where I put the other highlighter. And this just makes it more shiny and wet looking. And you wanna be careful that you don't use too much of this or it'll like break apart anything you have underneath. And I'd be careful using this if you decide to use a powder highlighter. I'm not gonna put it on my nose or anything. I'm only gonna put it on the tops of my cheekbones. So now you could just leave it like this, you could add a cream bronzer, or you can do what I'm going to do, and I'm going to add a powder bronzer. Um, I probably would do a cream bronzer if I had one, but I the two that I have are just 
like not the right tone like one of them's a contour and one of them's like too red toned so i'm just gonna go with this powder one from kosa and let me tell you i am cringing at the thought of putting this on an onset base but it's okay we're gonna go in with a really light hand picking up a little bit and then tapping off some excess and first i just want to put this kind of on my forehead and just lightly pressing it because you don't want to like swipe it too hard or it's gonna um get patchy or remove some of the makeup underneath and i'm just very lightly kind of dusting this onto my forehead and temples if you have like a small forehead you do not need to do this at all i just feel like i need something up here and this bronzer that I'm using does have like a sheen to it, so it matches um, well with this like dewy trend that we're doing. And then very lightly, I'm gonna bring it under the blush down here. And bring a light amount because I really want the blush and the highlight to kind of be the star of the show. But I just feel like I need bronzer on my cheek. If you're like me and this is just like a tiny bit too greasy for you, I'm gonna set with some powder, but I'm not gonna set everywhere like I usually would. So I'm gonna use this powder from Pat McGrath. It's um the Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. And this powder is very lightweight and it does have a sheen to it, but it'll still set down my makeup. So I'm gonna take a little bit, like a fluffy brush, and I'm gonna place this in the middle of my forehead. And I'm also gonna place that like next to my nose but not being careful not to get on top of the Vaseline because it'll just stick there. So I just want it like right here. And then just do it a little tiny bit on my chin. This is like the perfect powder for this because it's so lightweight and does have that sheen to it. So you still get that wet dewy look but you won't necessarily feel as greasy, but those are the only places that I'm gonna set. So just to finish off the look, I'm gonna go in with some mascara. I'm just gonna use this one from KVD Vegan Beauty. And I just wanna do like a very light coat of that. And then for lips, you can really do anything that you want. Um, you can just do like a creamy lipstick. You can do like a liquid lipstick if you really want to. You can do a lip gloss. You can, I think like a blotted lip would be really pretty. You can really do anything that you want for the lips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tinted lip oil from Birds Bees. This is in the shade Showering Sunset. You can really use any color you want to. Because I did like a pink blush, I kind of wanted something more like pinky. So this is the finished look. Let me know if you guys like this, if you would like, if you would ever try it out yourself. Um, I think you can definitely do something on the eyes. This just wasn't what this video was about. It was more skin focused. So give me a thumbs up if you liked a more skin focused video. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me. But that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next one.